Hello, I am Flash Isaac, your favorite teacher from the future. Remember, it is what you have in your head that takes you ahead. You don't need you don't need a big head to move ahead. Some dreams are shattered not because they are cheaper or because they are shattered, but because they are not ordered. Now learn from the teacher. Learn what I'm about to share with you. It is very simple. I am here for one topic. 10 things you should not do when it comes to post-UTME. 10 post-UTME mistakes you should not even attempt. So jump is over. You've probably seen your scores or you are someone preparing for a future jump and you are interested in the topic. So. There are many reasons you may be watching this video, but ladies and gentlemen, let's see 10 mistakes you should not make when it comes to post TME. And I'm going right away, straight to the points. Number one, comparing your scores with others. Now results are out. You see various WhatsApp status, social media, or in your area. So a lot of persons sharing their score. You see 300, you see 280, you see 120. You see 180 and you check your score, maybe 200 or maybe 230 or so. Now, nothing is actually wrong with your score. But since you are comparing with others, you lose joy and you lose that drive. You see, John is going for medicine, he scored 300, but you are going for the same course, he scored 270, 260. You feel, ah, no, 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 I can't make it. Now, comparison is actually a thief of joy, a, kill, a stealer of joy. At first, you check your results and 240, 250, you are so happy, you have made it. By the time you start comparing, comparing, you want to make more. And apart from comparing to people higher than you and getting discouraged, there are persons you also scored higher than. If you feel, ah, I scored higher than this person, I, I've tried, so I've arrived, I am good to go. I'm going to gain admission. With that, you will also feel relaxed. So all of these are not good. Always don't let your fat, your past affect your move. The thing is, you may have made a lot of mistakes that affected your jump score or whatever happened. It's not my business. If what because it's already in the past, there is nothing we can do to go that. For me, I already traveled in the future and I told you what to do. So a lot of persons followed, they followed my series, my advice, the flash tenants application. And yeah, many scored above 300, above 290, above 280, many who actually followed. Why a few who didn't believe that just the app and video is enough for them. So those are also there. If you are my students, <laughs> you can share your score or your testimony. I'll offer professional advice. But one thing you should not do, ladies and gentlemen, you've seen your score. What should come to your mind is, okay, what next? This has already happened. Forget about upgrade. That is another deceit. Just the way they told you they are going to send you answers in the hall and you wrote your exam and here we are in the present. So nothing like jam result upgrade. You've seen your result. Accept it and begin to think, okay, what next should I do? So the other points will actually help you to move forward. But right now, don't compare your score with any other. Don't get discouraged. Accept the score. This is my score and begin to think, what next should I do? Number two, stop listening to everyone. You've seen your jump score. A mechanic will tell you, ah, it's not enough to study this course. You, <laughs> you rush to meet electrician. Ah, it's not enough to meet this course. You see a married duma. Ah, this score is not enough. Why this score is too high? You go to uh, the street. You see a madman. This score is not enough. Why this score is too high? You can't go to this school. Oh, you can't do this. You join. 500 WhatsApp group. Oh, this score is too high. Oh, your score is not enough. You can't gain the change course. So you listen to everybody, everything. So what that makes you a student? Or what that makes you somebody who is planning or who is aiming to be better in the future? You are getting academic instruction from people that are not even students, from people who never gain admission, from people who never step into school, or some from people who are using past glory, or from people who haven't even updated about the latest trend about the educational system. 
Those are the person telling you that your score is okay or your score is too small or you can't get an admission. No. One of the worst things that can happen to you in life is listening to the wrong people. We are in a society where people don't listen to professionals. You want to build a house. An engineer is telling you, okay, don't do this. This land is uh, somehow, uh, let's survey this. Let's do this. We should use this material. This will last longer. Then somebody else comes. Leave all these engineers. Leave them. Give me 50,000 naira. I will build this house for you. They say, wow, wow, you are trying to manage materials. Before you know, you see building collapse and problem. There are professionals. If you have health issues, listen to trained doctors. Hear from them. Not somebody that doesn't know anything about medicine telling you, forget the doctor. So learn to work with people that are skilled. You want marriage advice? Listen to people who have successful marriage or responsible people. Not people in the streets doing hookup that are telling you love is calm, but this is this. So always try to learn from the right source. Don't get information from the wrong sources. It's going to affect you in your life and in your career. The third mistake you should not make this year is bustling your score. I've seen many persons, they will say, I wrote down last year, I scored 230, so I did not bother to write post 2 me. I scored 200, I did not bother to write post 2 me. Ladies and gentlemen, who is giving you all this info? So long you scored 180, even 170 and above, you should be able to get admission into a school. Yes, you should. For me, in my year, I scored 221, I guess. That was the jump score I used to gain admission. 221. I studied electrical and electronic engineering at the University of Benin, which is a federal school. So with even score more than that, people are telling you, don't write, just relax, write again. You cannot be again on Uniben, Unilag, UI. No. No, calm down. Calm down. You spent three years at home. You scored 200. No, no need, I'll write again. 220, I'll write, I can't study engineering, too small. 260, no, you just can't study medicine. No. No. Instead of assuming you can't do it or it's not enough, why not just relax, prepare for the post to me and write it? So let you see the results yourself that, okay, I failed, I, I did not gain the admission. Then, assuming you are not going to gain it. No. If you feel uh, you scored below 200 for major schools that accept 200, fine, there are other schools. Just go to those schools, change your course or institution, write post me in those schools, make sure you gain admission. After getting admission, you resume. You may even love the school. But if at all you don't like the school, fine, you can write jam again while in the school, then you switch school. With that, you've gotten a one-year experience. Then, you stay at home, I want to write next year. Next year, you'll be able to score lower. Then before you know, you spend three, four years at home, and you've dropped out. That's all, your dream, everything is gone. Or you say, okay, I scored 230, I can't study medicine, you need learning. You just relax, I want to write again. Okay, why not, if you feel, okay, you are so sure, or from expert, they say, okay, this won't work, or it will be difficult. And you know that, within you, you can't really sit for that post and me. Fine, change course to other course, study them, you may love them. And to me these days, I don't even advise people saying, I must study medicine, or I die, engineering, or I die, this course, or I die, no. Just, you can get a decent course, study, why in school, learn skills. There's a chance that you may not even use your course. There are no jobs anywhere, it is fact, no jobs anywhere for you. Or you want to graduate and start working in a bank, they're paying you 70,000. That's what you want to use to train your family or to be a better person. Or is it the best job in the country currently? Share or Chevron, 600,000, 700,000 a month. You think you've arrived. With skills, you don't have limits. For me, I've seen my own result once. I graduated in 2019. I graduated very well. I studied engineering. Now, I've seen my result only, certificate only once. I just take it and kept it. I'm not working with that. I'm not even practicing engineering. I've learned skills, new passion. So you can just study just to meet people in school because one thing about school is that you get exposed to new persons, new faces, and they're going to help you very well to step up your life, step up your thinking, right? So from there, you can let other passion. Skill is so, so important. So don't be in school, I must pass. You are not learning anything. You are not developing yourself. You gossip, you go meet friends, boyfriend, girlfriend. At the end of the four years, you wasted your life. Go to NYC now. Each POP, people are crying. They wasted their life in school, wasted everything. They are not, ah, what should I do next? They are not thinking. The uncle that promised you job, you will get this, you will get that. When you graduate, nothing. There is nothing. The truth is, you will still not believe. That is just the fact. So, if you're free to learn from experience, fine. Most persons actually don't believe that their case will be like that. They always feel 
their case will be different. And that is the reason we are where we are today. So do not bottle your score. Get your score. Look for any advice, alternative schools. Start making plans now. Make sure you write position. Make sure you gain admission. Make sure you resume. You eventually like your course and develop yourself and begin to learn various skills, web design, app development, search engine optimization, programming, video making, YouTubing, blogging, all these passions. They will help you make millions more than even any course at all. Or you want to study medicine and at the end they are running abroad because they are not paying you well. So no course is bad. No course is bad. Any course you study, they are all okay. Just be in school. That's what is so, so, so important. Number four is overconfidence in your score. I have scored how many I have persons who got 344, uh, 333 something. Many persons, many of my students have moved 300. One thing I tell them is, don't fear I've scored 300 I will gain admission. No, you can score 300 and you still not gain admission. I'm telling you, it's fat. 300, you still not gain admission. And you see people publishing on the news that the person who scored 314 in jam and refused to gain admission. You see comments. Nigerian system is corrupt. And it's so corrupt. They are paying. Okay, let me show you something. Mr. A scores 300 in jam. Your jam score for most schools is divided by 8 because it's 50% of the score. So if you divide 300 by 8, that's 37.5 if I am correct. Now, somebody who scored 250, if you divide it by 8, that is 31.25. So you your score is literally higher than that person's score with around just 7 or so. That is the difference. So, positive ME score is only divided by 2. If the person scores 300 in jump, position me, the person is able to score only 60, that is 30. So 30 plus 37, 67. The one who scored 250 in jump, that is 31, goes ahead to score 18, position me, that is 40 plus 31, 71. That person is far, far higher than the person who scored 300 in jump. So don't let jump score deceive you. Jump score for most schools is just 50% of it. Position me is the other 50%. So with 200 on the dot, you can even score extremely high and gain admission and compete with the person scoring 300. So jump score is basically an illusion. And your jump score does not determine who gains admission. So don't be overconfident. If your jump score is low, this is good news for you. Prepare for post me, blast, and I promise you, you are going to gain admission. I scored 221 in jump, and my post me I scored 70 in engineering. And that year, post me performance was very low. From the aggregate, I gained admission first batch, first batch. Nothing, I didn't know anybody. In fact, I came from the village to write post to me. So I grew up in the village, attended secondary school in the village. So if you are even interested in my profile, I can just send it to you to read about me, my story, everything I went through, and achievements. So as somebody growing up, it's definitely going to help you to spark up life, to understand life. Number five is thinking there is time. Post me is still far. Let me relax first. I've passed the jam. Let me go and enjoy life. Let me rest. I cannot keep myself. It is not over until it is over. It is not over until it is over. It is not over until you gain admission. So, you see your jam result, whether low or high, forget that. Start preparing for post me immediately. And number six, many persons now do looking, I need any way post me. I need the lack of post me. I need UI post me. Once they see post me questions from other school, or they see wire questions, no, 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 no. I need post me for my screen. No, I need. Mean. You get post me pass question for your school. Then you start studying only that, only that. You are, that, that is a very wrong way to prepare. In fact, most schools don't even repeat positive me past questions. Past questions are to show you standard the school sets. So, you don't say you've seen a, the school's positive me in small textbook like this or uh, apps. You install, you practice, then you finish it in a week. After the school positive me, I will pass. No, positive me does not have syllabus. In fact, positive me is YX syllabus and jam syllabus. So, if you're ready for positive me, the resources you use for JAM, personal JAM app, is 100% valid. Why pass questions valid? Uh, any uh, position me for other school questions valid? For position me, just be solving questions like a math person. Any question you see, solve. In fact, this takes us to one of the points. Okay, when I get there, I'll just keep that point. Is in position me, stop more less of reading, more of practice. This is what I mean. If you are sorry for position me, don't carry a book and be reading. Okay, okay, no. As you are seeing questions, you look, you read, solve. Just be answering questions. Be solving and solving. Position me requires speed. Position me is not like jam that pays you. So if you even we are not able to even finish in jam, <laughs> how much more position me? So position me requires speed. So you must to be in your practice, be solving a lot of questions. Just keep solving and solving. Be answering. 
answer questions. Any question you see from any position, any year, any school, any exam, just be playing with a lot of questions, a lot. Practice, practice, practice. And look for all your weak points in jam. The areas, the topics you did not do well in jam, you know in the exam hall that gave you tough time. Solve them. Just be solving. Be solving and solving and solving and solving. And learn to solve without calculator. Learn to solve in milliseconds. Number eight mistake is following WhatsApp groups. Now, now, positioning me is coming. They've added you to this group, positioning me, uh, brainstorming group, aspirant group. You are in so many groups. You are getting notifications. The truth is, all these notifications, even the ones that they solve questions, not all the messages are relevant. Only a few percent. So by the time you start following all this, following all this, following all this, you lose concentration. You read this, any notification you read, you can't even focus on reading. Which takes us to another point. When you are, if you want to be online, you want to chat, chat. If you want to read, turn off your data. Unless maybe you want to read and browse and get uh, maybe info online or use the app. Fine, but if you are reading, turn off notifications from all your social media app. If you read for one hour of full concentration without any distraction, it's better than you say I've read for 10 hours with every second you check your message, you come back. No, you are not getting what you are reading. You are losing concentration. So anytime you are reading, focus. If it is 30 minutes, let it be effective. If it is one hour, let it be effective. It's better than going for nine class or studying over the night. We are, uh, okay, a nice number of person, <laughs> animal place or thing. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, who is this? Oh, oh hello. <laughs> you are deceiving yourself. That's not effective reading. If you don't read effectively, you are not going to do well. And next, which should be number nine, is you must follow the flash announce videos. Not a must, but I know what I give. I know the content I create. If you follow the flash announce YouTube channel, and you subscribe to the channel, you follow the videos for WAEC, for JAM, for Positioning Me, and other videos without any title, exam name, just the topic. Follow them and begin to practice right now. You will do well. Then, number 10. Whatever you want to get, or anywhere you are going, or any stage you wish to get to in life, there are persons who have gotten to that stage and who have done all that. When you have them as mentors, they help you. Like, maybe senior colleagues, those in school that have been admission, graduates, or persons you know that they have passion for school. They have a lot to teach you. You can ask them, how do I prepare for this? This issue has been postponing me. What do I do? It's better to ask those persons than your fellow confused semi candidates. They don't even know much. I rely on them for information. What do they know? They share rubbish broadcast on different platforms, different this, do this, say this. No. You must follow people who are ready to help you, who are ready to mentor you. So there are many <laughs> things you must not do in post-TMI and the ones you should do. But this part I mentioned, I see them very important. And these are things you will not hear mostly from many persons. Because a lot of we say get past question, study for semi past question. No. No. There are more pressing issues. More pressing things that many of us don't take note of. So that will be it for this video. And hope you are fine. Take care of yourself. I wish you the best in your post TME, in your admission, and throughout your school, and in all that you're getting. Take care. Flash Isaac, your favorite teacher from the future.